Today we're gonna to learn about inherited traits and learned behaviors. We're gonna find out the difference between the two. So inherited traits, you know, like your eye color and learned behavior like the ukulele. Are you ready to get started? Okay, here we go. Inherited traits and learned behaviors with me, Mrs. Bright. Hi, I'm so glad that you joined me today and hopefully by the end of this lesson, you will know the definitions of both inherited traits and learned behaviors and you'll be able to give examples of both. Are you ready? Here we go. First off, inherited traits. Traits are sometimes something an organism does, like a bear hibernating or roots growing down and stems growing up. We call these instinctive behaviors. An instinctive behavior is a behavior that is inherited from the parents of the organism. The animal is born, the animal or plant, is born with that behavior. Inherited traits. Traits that are given to you by dad and mom through your genes and they're called inherited traits. Genes are DNA information that is contained in each of your cells. Some examples of inherited traits include your hair color, hibernation, like we said before, your foot size, eating, migration, breathing, walking, <laughs> maybe not for humans, but a baby horse can walk after it's born. It doesn't need to be taught. And of course, spider spinning webs, and your fur color, if you have fur. <laughs> learned behaviors are a little bit different and the word learned helps you know what those differences are. Not all traits are passed down from your parents. You can learn them over time. You can learn these traits from your parents, from others around you, they can teach you or through observation or through your environment. Examples of learned behaviors include your language. If you speak English or Russian or Spanish, those are learned behaviors. Your religion, riding a bicycle, your favorite sport. If you like playing baseball or soccer, you had to be taught those rules. Your mannerisms and even your dog can have learned behavior when you teach him how to shake his paw with you. Inherited traits and learned behaviors aren't always just separate. Sometimes we see a combination of those, like when wolves have instinct to hunt, but they learn how to hunt in packs or groups. Cheetahs also have the basic instinct to hunt to get their food, but they learn how to sneak up on their prey by watching their mom as she hunts. Can plants learn behaviors? Hmm. All plant behavior is inherited, but they can respond to the environmental conditions around them. That's pretty cool. A plant's response to their environment is called tropism. A plant will turn its leaves toward the light. Have you ever seen that before? I have. Okay, now to test your knowledge. Do you think this is an inherited trait or a learned behavior? A baby crying? What do you think? If you said inherited trait, you are correct. No one has to teach us how to cry. We inherit that from our parents. Okay, here's the next one. Inherited trait or learned behavior. <laughs> that looks really fun. So dancing. Is it an inherited trait or a learned behavior? If you said learned behavior, you are correct. That's something that we have to be taught. Inherited trait or learned behavior? What do you think? This is Dixie, my dog, when she was a puppy. Stay. Okay. Good, Dixie. Good, Dixie. Okay, so inherited trait or learned behavior? It's a learned behavior. We had to teach her and bribe her with food to get her to stay. Yay, good job. Okay, inherited trait or learned behavior? 
this is my family and we all have the same skin color. Is that an inherited trait or a learned behavior? Hmm. If you said inherited trait, you are correct. They look like us because we are their parents. Okay, next one. Inherited trait or learned behavior. This is my daughter, Cameron. <laughs> Good job, Cammie. So what do you think? Is that an inherited trait or a learned behavior? Did she have to be taught that? Or did she just get that because her mom's a great skater? Hmm. Learned behavior. I can't do a circle on skates. Good job. Okay, next. Inherited trait or learned behavior. This is my son, Karsten. <laughs> so Karsten can do a willy on his bike. Is that an inherited trait or a learned behavior? If you said learned behavior, you are correct. Yay! <laughs> inherited trait or learned behavior. Yeah, that's my foot there. I have a big foot. Hmm. Is that something that my foot learned how to do? Or was that passed down to me from my parents? If you said inherited trait, you are correct. <laughs> good job. You're doing really good at this. Okay, inherited trait or learned behavior? Chica on a skateboard. <laughs> Have you ever seen a dog on a skateboard before? Well, this is my chihuahua. What do you think, inherited trait? or learned behavior. Learned behavior, you are correct. Okay, last one. Inherited trait or learned behavior? And I'm talking about that goatee on my son, his little facial hair. Is that something? Okay, so maybe it's fake. But in the future, his facial hair, if it's bushy or if it's thin, will that be an inherited trait or a learned behavior? If you said inherited trait, you are correct. Good job. So today we have talked about inherited traits, characteristics or attributes of an organism that are passed from parents to offspring. And we've also learned about learned behavior, something an organism learns as they interact with their world. I know we learned a lot today and I hope that you now know the difference between inherited traits and learned behaviors. Thank you for studying with me today. Until next time. <laughs> I'll keep learning for sure. <laughs>